Hello kids, and today we're gonna learn about wild animals that live in savanna. Great, and we have different types of animals. And let's count how many animals we have on this board. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this one we have a savanna tree. So let's start. And let's start the search for zebra. And let's maybe turn this one. No, it's not a zebra. It's a rhino. Mm, where could be zebra? B. Let's maybe take this one. Mm, no, it's a buffalo. No, I think the zebra could be this one. Yes, it's a zebra. And let's think where we can place it on a board. Hmm, should it go here? No, maybe we should turn around. But then we don't see the picture of the zebra. So it should be like this. I think the zebra should go here. Yes, that's right. And the zebra is the letter Z. Zebra. Great. We found our first wild animal. And a small fact about the zebra, that zebras have black and white stripes. Just like a barcode. Each zebra stripes are unique. Great. We found our first wild animal. Let's continue with the next one. And next one gonna be, yes, a lion. The big and mighty lion. And let's think where it could be. Let's maybe try to turn this one. No, it's buffalo. It's not a lion. Let's maybe turn around this one. No, it's a savanna tree. Hmm, where could be the lion? Let's think. Maybe this. Yes, it's a lion. And let's place the lion on the board. Let's think together where it could go. Maybe here. No, it doesn't go here. It's too small for this shape. Let's maybe try here. No, it doesn't go here really well. Mm, I think the lion should go... Yes, here. Right. And the lion is for... Has the letter L. Great. Lion starts with the letter L. And there is the small fact about the lion. Lions are called the kings of the jungle, but they live in the savanna. They have loud roars. Great. Let's continue with the next wild animal. And let's try to find the leopard. And where the leopard could be. Let's turn around this piece. No, it's a mama elephant and baby elephant. It's not a leopard. Let's try maybe this one. No, it's a giraffe. Hmm, where could be the uh, where could be the leopard? Let's think together. Mm, I think it could be this one. Let's try. Yes, this is our leopard. And let's think where we can place it on a board. And maybe here. No, it doesn't go here well. Maybe here. Maybe we should turn around. No, it still doesn't go there. Let's think. The leopard. Hmm, it has really big tail. I think it should go. Yes, it goes here really well. Great job. And leopard has the first letter. L. The leopard starts with the letter L. And here is the small fact about the leopard. Leopards have beautiful spots and great climbers. They sometimes rest in the trees. Great! Well done! We found our third animal. And we continue with the next one. Let's try to find monkey. And monkey could be somewhere here. And let's turn around this piece. And it is rhino. It's not a monkey. 
and the monkey starts with the letter M. Monkey. And I think the monkey could be this one. Let's turn around together. Let's do it. Yes, it's a monkey. Great, and monkey looks really small compared to other wild animals. So let's think where we can place the monkey. Do you think we should place it here? No, it doesn't go here. Should we place it here? No, it doesn't go here. I think it should go here. Hmm, strange. But let's turn around two times. One and two. Great. We found the monkey, our four wild animal. And there is the fact about the monkey. Monkeys love to swing from branches using their long tails. They are playful and chatty. And the monkey starts with letter M. Monkey. Great. We found our four wild animals. We found leopard, zebra, monkey, and lion. Let's continue with our adventure. And let's find other pieces for the board. And let's try to find baby elephant and mama elephant. And let's think where it could be. Let's maybe turn this one. No, it's a giraffe. It's not an elephant. Let's try this one. Yes, it's this one. Let's turn around and on three. One, two, three. Yes, we have mama elephant and baby elephant. And let's think together where we should place it. It's a really big piece. Where do you think we should place it? Yes, it should go here. Should we place like this? No, let's turn around again. It doesn't go like this. Let's turn around again. Yes, great. We place our piece on a board. It's mama elephant and baby elephant. And there is the small fact about the elephant. Elephants have long trunks and trunk is the nose of the elephant. Elephants have long trunks. They used to drink water and big ears that flap in the breeze. Great, an elephant, the first letter of the elephant is letter E. Great, congratulations, we found our piece for the board. And let's continue with others. So the next piece that we're gonna try to find gonna be the savanna tree. And let's think, it's not an animal, it's a tree. And let's turn around this puzzle piece. No, it's not a tree. It's an animal called buffalo. It's not a tree and we need a tree. Maybe this one, maybe this or this one. I think, yes, it's this one. No, it's a giraffe. Let's try to go with this one. One, two, three. Yes, it's our savanna tree. And savanna tree, we need to place somewhere on a board. And where do you think it should go? And this is a really uh, big puzzle piece. So it could go here? No, it doesn't go here. Maybe here. Hmm. Let's turn around two times. One and two. Great, we place it there, the tree. And the savanna tree have the umbrella shaped tops and thorns. Giraffes love to munch on their leaves. And the savanna tree uh, stands for letter S, savanna tree, S, great, we found the tree, and let's continue to find our wild animals, and we left with the free animals, and let's try to search for giraffe, I think the giraffe is this one, what do you think, let's turn around, one, two, and three, Great, yes, it's a giraffe. And let's think together where we can place the giraffe. Hmm, I think it could go maybe here. No, maybe we should turn around. Maybe one more time. No, it doesn't go here. Maybe it should go. Yes, it should go here. Great. And giraffe stands for letter G. Letter G. 
the first letter of the giraffe, wild animal. And there is the small fact about the giraffe. Giraffes are the tallest animals and use their long necks to eat leaves from high trees, like this one, the savanna tree. Great, let's place it back. And we only left with two wild animals. And let's search for rhino. And let's turn around this piece. No, it's not a rhino, it's a buffalo. I think this is the rhino. Let's take it. Yes, this is the rhino. And let's think where we should place it. Maybe it should go here. No, let's turn around again. No, let's turn again. No. Mm. Then we only left with this shape. Let's try. Should we turn around two times? Should we do it? Yes. One, two, three. We place on the board the rhino piece. And rhinos have thick skin and big horns on their noses. They like mud baths. And the rhino, the first letter of the rhino is... Are great, well done. Let's continue with our last wild animal. And our last wild animal is buffalo. Here it is, let's turn around, let's see. One, two, three. Yes, it's a buffalo. And we only have one place where we can put the shape. So let's place it, yes, here. One, two, and three. Great, done. And the buffalo stands for letter B. And look, we almost found all animals. And the fact about the buffalo, buffaloes have big horns and live with their friends in a groups called herds. Great, we found all the wild animals that lives in savanna. And we also found the savanna tree. Congratulations, we completed this puzzle. Great, well done. Thank you, kids. Bye, see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe.